Capricorn, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 2nd of January until the 8th of January 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the 8 of Pentacles. This is a time of learning new skills and a time of beginning something that one has not previously done. In this sense, the Eight of Pentacles indicates that you are experiencing or about to experience a change or a new beginning in terms of your work, education or financial circumstances. However, this card symbolizes a concentrated determination to master the new skill being learned and the single-minded effort of someone who has consciously chosen a new career path or creative undertaking. This card shows a diligent and hard-working attitude, and indicates that you are applying yourself fully to whatever is at the center of your attention. This card creates success through perseverance and individual initiative as opposed to luck or the generosity of others. The Eight of Pentacles suggests you are working your way at the finer details of the various aspects of your life, in an effort to continuously improve your situation. You may be unhappy with your current state and you know you need to make some important changes in your life to increase your overall satisfaction. This card is a really positive sign that you are committed to making those changes and to ensuring that you give yourself the best possible chance. Overall, this is a very hard-working and conscientious energy that is present in your life. The Eight of Pentacles is encouragement to keep doing what you are doing as it will eventually lead to success. Yes, it requires a lot of dedication, focus and patience but as each day passes and as you stay true to your values and beliefs, you get a little closer to your goal. It may not be as apparent as you may like but events are unfolding that will lead you to the right path. Continue working on yourself, too and making ongoing improvements and adjustments to ensure that you are the best person you can be. The Eight of Pentacles may indicate further education or study in order to hone your skills. You may already be proficient in a particular skill set but you are now seeking to master those skills. For example, you may be a great home cook but now you are starting to focus your attention on fine French cuisine. You know that it will require a lot of focus and dedication in your studies but you are willing to work hard and to pay attention to the details. You know that you will not learn these advanced skills overnight but you are prepared for the journey towards becoming a master at your chosen expertise. If you encounter this card in a reading and are not currently engaged in the active pursuit of your goals, Ask yourself what you could learn or create to better yourself or your circumstances. If you are already engaged in the pursuit of new learning, the Eight of Pentacles may be a card of encouragement and reassurance that the energy you invest in your development will be worth your while. The downside of the Eight of Pentacles is that by focusing on the details of your work or study, you may become a perfectionist. While it is important to get the details right, be aware of any tendency towards perfectionism where you may lose sight of the bigger picture. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Seven of Wands. What do you want most right now is the end of a struggle after initial satisfaction and fulfillment. This time, However, the struggle is about maintaining your position at the top while others compete and fight to achieve the same success and status that you have already achieved. Thus, competition is rife and you must continually prove yourself with the Seven of Wands. If your vision and creative effort is fulfilled to the point where there is public acclaim or acceptance of your success then you must expect competition and challenge as other people will no doubt also desire the same things as you. The Seven of Wands can also indicate a challenge to the continued success of a venture or creative project from an external source. 
While it appears to block your path forward, you can overcome this challenge or obstacle by drawing upon your strong self-confidence, self-belief and continual self-improvement. It can also be overcome with effort and clarity of purpose. The Seven of Wands is about holding your ground, despite ongoing challenges to your position and authority. You need to take a stand and defend your position at all costs. This will take courage and persistence but you have the strength and determination to do it. You see yourself as a battler and no matter what the challenge, you still have it in you to stand up for yourself and fight to the end. So, although you are experiencing a number of setbacks at the moment, you need to continue fighting for what you believe in and confronting others who may oppose or threaten you. This card can also indicate that you will be required to give a speech or write a paper on a contentious or highly debated issue. You will need to be ready to defend your argument and present hard facts that support your point of view. Expect to be challenged but enjoy this challenge as it will help you to create an even more robust argument. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Six of Cups. You are afraid that the issues from your past came out to the open. It is important to explore the memories of your past but do not get stuck there. Your ideas and beliefs that were established in the past may be prohibiting your progress. Use your past as a guide for your future, and focus on living in the present. You may have had unrealistically rosy ideas about a particular stage of life, based on your dreams and ideals from when you were younger. For example, you may have always pictured yourself as married with children by 25, only to realize that once you hit 25, you had other goals in mind. Or you may be disappointed that you have reached a particular age but have not fulfilled your childhood dreams just yet. Sometimes, the Six of Cups can indicate child abuse or sexual abuse sustained as a young person. You may still be working through these issues and trying to release yourself from the harmful memories. Alternatively, you may be working with others who have repressed memories from their childhood and who need your support. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is, the two of wands. You have been able to take your idea and turn it into a feasible plan that you know will lead to your success. It is no longer just an idea but you now have a plan in place to ensure that your idea is carried out as you had intended. The Two of Wands is also about discovery, particularly as you step outside of your comfort zone and explore new worlds and new experiences. It may take some courage to take the first step but this card gives you the confidence of self-knowledge. You know what your goal is, what your creative process is directing for you, and you are confident in its eventual fulfillment. The Two of Wands indicates that you will begin to consider your longer term goals and aspirations and will plan ahead for what you need to do to achieve these goals. You have already come so far but now you feel it is ready for a change, this time with your long-term future in mind. You may be considering overseas travel, further education or a major career change at this point in order to expand your learning and development, and to grow your horizons beyond your immediate environment. With careful planning, and a moderated approach, you will set yourself up for success in the future. The twos in tarot often represent decisions of some sort. In the case of the two of wands, you are making a decision between sticking with what you know, or expanding your horizons and taking a risk. You know that the world has to offer you something bigger or more meaningful, yet you are also aware that in order to maximize on this opportunity, you must leave your familiar grounds. Even though you have already invested a lot into your current circumstances, for you to be able to grow and to maximize your potential, it is imperative that you step out into a new world and explore your options. 
This card shows the patience and focus of your intent. You have got the ball rolling and have started out on your journey, so now it is time to patiently wait for your rewards and watch as your ideas begin to materialize. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the seven of swords. You are afraid and finding it difficult to take the first step in a new direction. At times it may seem impossible that you could create the types of changes you want as you continually come up against setback after setback. Yet, you know in your soul, that when the timing is right, you will be able to follow through on your dreams, releasing an old pain from your heart. You need to break free from old habits and ways of thinking in order to overcome the blockages that currently stand in your way. You need to accept what is happening to you and act on it, rather than trying to escape. You need to do things differently, releasing yourself from past behaviors or limiting beliefs so that you can move forward in your life. Do not become trapped into thinking that you can only do certain things with which you are familiar. Expand your consideration set to broader horizons. If you are involved in an affair or extramarital relationship, this card shows a growing reluctance to keep up the charade of having this type of relationship. You or your partner may be feeling increasingly uncomfortable with this relationship and would much rather come out in the open about what is happening. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the King of Wands. There would be a male significant figure in your life, most likely from fire signs, who is goal oriented and full of creativity. He is a natural born leader of all kinds of people, and he is very visionary. Once he sets himself a goal, he sticks to it and ensures that he can make it happen with the support of those around him. People naturally gravitate towards this king as they know he will get things done and will do it very well. He is a master, too, at being able to get other people to do his work for him, and keep them on side throughout the process. He looks forward to challenges because he enjoys the natural rush of adrenaline associated with solving a difficult problem and coming to a solution that will benefit not just one person but many people. In the process, he not only rids himself of his own fear but that of others by reassuring them that they shall all succeed. He is not all talk, either, and when the going gets tough, he is prepared to do the hard yards to see something through to the end. The King of Wands has a deep and innate respect for other people, and his compassion extends far. He knows how to bring out the best in others and to empower them to deliver his visions and goals, which he knows will be of benefit to the greater population. If this king represents yourself, you are someone who is very visionary and goal-oriented. You achieve a lot because you are very clear about your future direction and how you will get there. You do not waste your time on activities or relationships that you believe will lead nowhere. You never just go with the flow, instead you prefer to embark on a strong and direct course of action. The King of Wands reminds you to lead your life with intent, vision and a long-term view. Know that even though you are experiencing challenges now this is just a part of your journey to something much more positive. Eventually, you will see this time as just a little blip on the radar and it will have simply served to make you stronger. Stay focused on your long-term goals. The appearance of the King of Wands also suggests that an opportunity is presenting itself to you, and you now have the power to accept the opportunity and take on the challenge. You are the determining factor in this situation, and circumstances will navigate in the direction you steer them. Indecision or doubt will not be appropriate responses when clarity and confidence are acquired. However, as you progress in this new role, it will begin to feel more comfortable. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is... The World. 
The angels sent you this card because you've happily completed something of great importance. They're congratulating you on a job well done. You're now ready to move on to something new. Enjoy your feelings of wholeness and completion, and give yourself a pat on the back for your amazing accomplishments. You've grown spiritually and have evolved to a whole new level in your understanding of the universe. You've experienced significant enlightenment and have expanded your consciousness of how to attain joy and contentment. You feel a great sense of gratitude. Additional meanings of this card, perfection. A move to the next level. Receiving an award. A new house or job. Complete clarity. Cosmic awareness. Recognition for the use of your talents. Freedom. Archangel Michael oversees your divine life purpose, and he knows what roles your soul has been born to fulfill. Call upon Michael for guidance as to your next steps, as well as to give you the courage, strength, and confidence to take them. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.